So over here, you can see that I have a video clip on my timeline. And what we're going to do is we're going to double click to work around with the color enhancement and white balance option. So both of them are checked out right now. So both of them has been applied by default. If I were to go ahead and open up the color enhancement, you can see that I can work around with the auto feature right here. And what happens is that it automatically tries to adjust the uh, video on uh, for its best fit. If I were to disable this, this is how it used to seem. Or you can undo that out to get back to the default, thread, uh, default state as well. If I were to go over here on threshold and increase, uh, then nothing happens. That is because I need to increase, increase the value first. And if I were to increase the threshold, it's like the contrast, as you can see. So as I increase the values, the difference between black and white in the video reduces. And if I were to increase the threshold, the difference between uh, black and white, that is the contrast increases. And you can make the video more pop out more as you can see. So this is before and this is after. And that is how the color enhancement functions. The other option that you, you can work with is white balance. And now by default, uh, the default white balance is applied. But let's say uh, that you want to uh, make this. This is the white one. These are the white objects on your video. And uh, that's what you want uh, the software to take reference of. Then what you can do is you can take this color picker right here and click here. And what it tries to do is change the white balance a bit. So you don't see much difference because uh, the white balance is already okay from the beginning. But if I were to click this again and click somewhere over here, you can see that it takes this as a reference and then changes other colors right there. But I'm just going to go around and use this color right here, which is the reference for white in this video. You can go around and change the temperature into more of a warm look or more of a cool look right over here by clicking and dragging this. You can undo that out or you can type in the value or drag this area as well, just like this. So if I were to press zero, that is how it looks. Then we have tint, which allows you to make it into a green tone or a pink tone right here. So you can go around and type in zero and do the same for this one. Press undo to get back onto the state. And that is how you can work around with the color enhancement options and white balance options inside of Filmora. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.